Good day everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Survival Chaos. Today we're gonna be glorious and completely evil. And uh, Master Snoop is allowed to pick one of our bonuses because we promised him that. He actually did gift us a new beautiful mouse. So that's one way to repay him for his kindness. If anyone is willing to join us for a fight, then we are always open that. Tipo units, get the boots! Okay. <coughs> That's gonna be fun. No big balls for us today, though. No big balls at all. But who cares? I got two beautiful daughters anyway. Um, to come back to the question from Carol. I do live in the nether. The beautiful Netherlands. Close to the German border. Show them some pain. <clears throat> well, this was gonna be fun. But late game push. But our final cowboys. Oh, void elves and some stinky pandaren. But yeah, I'll ask you guys this for once. Do you want to see a fluffy Kyrian being all nice and godly, or do you want to see an evil Kyrian? <clears throat> Is there a general strategy to follow when playing synthets? Um Well, they are very difficult uh, to start with. Also, because they do not start out that powerful, but more importantly, um, they only have two heroes, so mid-game you will probably struggle when you are facing a lot of pressure on your face. So usually, what you want to do with the Citadel is just hold out as long as you can the magic upgrades, the parasites, bring in some extra necessary units. will definitely help you out on the battlefield. Let's get a pressure on him. He's playing with spell resistance, so yeah, we need to get rid of that guy ASAP. Evil Kyrian! <clears throat> ah, we'll see, we'll see. But with the Parasite, also because that are the Broodmothers, the range units. Uh, giving the Parasite. Usually just um, spamming out some uh, Broodmothers. Gives you extra units and then you can counter attack real slowly, which buys you the time to get in the much necessary mid to late game. And thank you Extreme Aldi for the support. If you got any wishes, then feel free to let me know. Uh, Dutch cheese. <laughs> uh, but there are actually a lot of Indonesian people in the Netherlands. That's certainty. Seems like the Pandaren is way ahead on us. But yeah, it's not unexpected because he went to the random and we didn't. So he got the extra early gold. But as long as we get there for units, we should be okay. But we got some really good neutral building sighting empowering our heroes. <laughs> Evil Kyrian, let's go. Oh, Grim Leon, he's gonna be happy with that. A rhino. Not so certain about the other guys. But usually when gifting, it gives them to people watching you. Once again, thank you, Extreme Alni. <laughs> Loving the alerts. <laughs> So actually, Malni, I if you want uh, to decide for a ultimate weapon, uh, feel free to let me know. Snoop decided the bonus. If you want to see a specific ultimate weapon, we will base our strategy around it and try to make it work. Yeah, we'll all run. Kind of good early on, but with the... Yeah, we were talking about neutral builds, empowering our heroes, increased attack rate. Increased damage for our units and increased armor for our units. So if we are going to be in control of the silence. And we can focus on middle lane. We should be rather powerful here with the boss for our units. Pandaren still leading a little bit. And if you tower in the pointers are tier 2 here. I'm going to tier 1 to me. And he's in control of middle lane. He's going to be getting way more gold than we do right now. So that's a bit annoying. 
But I guess we are... Gotta be a bit merciless upon our enemies, I suppose. I was considering early tip, free or tip, four bears and side ends. Oh, he's gonna be annoying with the counter stack. There are a lot of units, and he has tier 2, and he has power sets, so the arrow is not going to be super effective on the bottom lane. I love the extra little bit of armor. Come on, Tauros with the tower. Oh, Lord, run! Let's go! Maybe one arrowhead. Good, good to deal with those sorts a little bit easier. <clears throat> Maybe early tip or mid lane could work. Used to one where uh, one one, but as long as we are having the extra army buffs, we might actually be fine against the cowboy. Let's just go for another armor. Might help him to bring out a bigger force here, but the armor might allow us to stay toward the top. But this is essentially what we have to do here. He actually got the magic upgrade already. Okay, that's why he was slowing the tier 2 barracks. He's kind of trying to go for a safer but slower um, build here. Sure, extreme only. We're gonna be in here for a little while, so if you want to play after this match, then that would be my honor. Let's go for one more tech upgrade. Oh, that makes really wants to die. I won't use on the frontliners because they will do massive damage to the barracks otherwise. Tower is gonna be coming for us no matter what we do. This wave is gonna be fighting over here. That's really terrible for us. Let's use this because I do not want to wait with my upgrades. But it's very likely that we're gonna have to buy several units here. Jesus. That was the worst place to be getting those reinforcements. The spell resistance also be fair annoying here for us. Normally I don't mind take some damage to the barracks, but Ugh. Disgusting. That's gonna be coming in real slow. I believe we're gonna be fine now. You might be seeing Jiang pop up in the middle lane sooner or later. But well, maybe we should go for early tier 4. Yeah, I am usually playing version 4.23 because that's the last official version. I know there's a 4.24 and a 4.5 even out there. But they are not the official versions of the game. Hey, we can actually also try out the uh, <coughs> Russian Hex version. With the Corrupted Ancients, the Arakoa, or the other crazy stuff. I don't have it personally. Because I feel like I'm cheating on survi survival. <laughs> the creative survival chaos. If I would go for X versions. But I really want to see the design of those races some uh, someday. Yeah, we're gonna invest an insane amount of gold in the middle lane. We might be falling behind a little bit on the other lanes. Oh my god, we're gonna be fighting over That's the same issue as we just faced over there. Wonderful. <clears throat> Just waves, man. And once again, look at this. 15 seconds to survive. The tower will hit like a truck. Look at it, they're not gonna be sending out a 100 cost uh, cavalry unit. <clears throat> I 
though we probably have to Nah, let's just take critical damage, that's fine. I believe in my late game power. Yeah, that was supposed to happen uh, sooner or later. <clears throat> Alright, enough for the guy. Let's make the strategy work. I don't think this is gonna be a quick game with Seattle Pro in it. But we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully we can finish these guys off quickly. We are playing with the catapults. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. I do not want to miss out on the catapult yet. Get back to the middle lane. Okay, that's nasty. But yeah, we have to be very careful here. Oh, we should be getting good uh, gold at middle lane, even if we are not gonna be in total control there yet. Oh, maybe they're not sending here at the middle lane here. But oh, we have to keep upgrading like crazy. We're gonna be falling behind compared to the uh, Fader already, since he's level to only main. But the Catpill went back to the uh, middle lane. Good. Let's keep upgrading. If I have to go tier 3 or tier 4 in silence, then we're gonna have to do it. But once again, we cannot ever have the uh, tower hitters again. Otherwise, we are gonna be in trouble for the late game. He's playing with tier 3 units placement. Yeah, they have extra range. 200. <coughs> which is quite fantastic with 1000 range. Left on the meditation shrine. Not entirely shocking. These will get the magic up. Come on. I want this uh middle lane now possession. Would he send here a middle lane? I doubt it. I mean technically we never know, but We'll be really boss with the tier 2 barracks. He sent both in here. <coughs> oh my god. He's not a coward at all. We are from the Netherlands. Good question, extreme army. <coughs> above him might be in a slight painful situation here. Everyone is stacking us, so that could be his lucky moment. He bought X units here because this was not a full wave. Might not be enough. <clears throat> Let's get one main three upgrade. It's actually three hero kill here. I don't know, Mandy Pandera is trying to push through though, but I think we got him. That'd be three hero summoned, and at least we did slay one of the enemy heroes. We did not send out any hero. <laughs> but we need heroes. Maybe we're gonna go with left to castle, keep upgrading our stuff, get the banner of, of Lord Run as well. Because we're currently shitting out gold right now. But that's because we are controlling every lane, but we're gonna be losing here sooner or later. We're gonna be losing this sooner or later. A hero? Uh, that's a little bit too much in my opinion, but we gotta be careful because we do not want that guy hitting our stuff. Let's go inspiration arrow. I can't like because it also busts up your heroes. Let's get the banner. Let's get the devotion arrow in. Then maybe we will have to save up some gold for our heroes. Yeah, even though the middle lane looks really good, we're only getting our gold from there soon. Because he will be controlling this, and he's gonna be controlling this. Did he send Chen here? Well, Chen might just be fine. But 
I still consider that a ballsy move because even though the odds will be helping him out, <clears throat> he's only tier 1, he's just tier 2, he's going to be taking plenty of damage. So I'm not going to be surprised if we would actually slay Jen here rather quickly. I would like the fire effect upon him though. Uh, he's gonna get level 4 I believe, and then he will split, and he might be able to survive it. The free bottom would probably be the best thing for us, that X ways, but I might use a Titu spell. Oh, it's gonna be really close, <clears throat> I think we got him before he gets level 4, <laughs> beautiful stuff, get the build. beautiful. Down seems to be slightly quicker than the pesky point else. I don't like how, how slow this guy is. I don't like it at all. <clears throat> Let's go tier 3. Yeah, since he wasted the hero here, we will have to waste another hero. Maybe even tier 2 spell. I'm on the job. I'm on the job. Maybe the four reports from middle eight. I mean, that would be quite nice. Not sure why it's not going for the castle. Perfect. Oh, let's use this. Get rid of them. Yeah, we should have been a little bit more cautious there. Herein will always survive. Tower maybe wants to deal with this. Yeah, we took more damage there than we had to. Stupid, stupid. Not in a tight set why we didn't focus on the point else. Maybe it's because it's a little early. But we certainly messed it up. With tier 3, we should be fine with tier 4. We want to hear a middle lane, maybe Farian. Farian. Get scared of the gun in sync battle. Farian might lose it though. Because we cannot take that Panda any lightly. But, but since he's not gonna be like other assassins and fighters, he's not gonna be dueling him uh, directly. He's gonna gain some levels and then he will probably win it. So let's keep our focus on unit upgrades again. Let, yeah, we get, got plenty of upgrades here to refill our castle, and I don't think we are gonna be needing any Titu spell anytime soon, so I'd rather not waste too much gold over there. Both the two unit is broken. Instinct. <coughs> they give the extra armor, don't they? I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think uh that's exactly what they do. Let's get a blitz spell up. <coughs> blitz spell should be wonderful even if this guy has power resistance. That's a nice little way to fight off his very, very annoying uh, images. Ooh. Grilled beef. We like it. Sorry, Thoros. Tier 2 spells coming up. But is it too late? Save the barracks, I think it is. It's on fire. Which is 750 damage. Could be that. Could be not. It's gonna be close anyway. Critical strike. Let's go before the defend. Could also just survive this with like 100 health, so. It's gonna be really close. <coughs> Someone hero, same four. Seems like it just barely survived. Good for him. He's trying to be annoying for us again. Is 
So if we go can go tier four hit soon, then that would be wonderful. Shield on the might on long run. It's gonna be Jiang. <clears throat> I mean, Jam died less than ten minutes ago, I believe. Same with Kyrian. Oh yeah, that guy is very stinky. Man of Lord run, extra tech raid later on. Cool, cool, cool. But that banner came from Endwin, which is increased tech raid as well, I believe. Welcome to our village. <coughs> Welcome to our village. Let's burn this village. Oh, look at this, we can repair it. Maybe Anthony here, because Anthony is going to be a bit more difficult to defend against. And the spell damage will probably break down the barracks. Oh, shit approved! Oh, this barracks is already dead. <laughs> oh, not yet, but the catapults will destroy it. I mean, you gotta believe, right? Sorry for that watchtower. Burn him down! I was with Ferry, it's very annoying for him because Ferry can bring out extra siege units. Sorry, little panda. Left toss the Kyrian when you're fighting the Kyrian. Okay. <clears throat> My strength is the holy light. My strength is the holy light. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dearie. Oopsie! Let's just slide the upper Yuta, he should be good now. <clears throat> Fair might struggle a little bit over there. But that's fine for me. Oh my god. He's not giving up though. Um, but it should be careful about the mid lane because we will attack him there with a fearful barracks against Titu. Ooh, he's using uh, repairs here. Okay, so we're gonna be safe against this ultimate weapon. That's gonna be wonderful. Not Tifo there yet. Kirin, Jeng not getting any reinforcements, so they might hold line for now, but they will eventually die. They're everywhere. Beautiful. I look at the barracks. All getting better shape again. And he's not gonna be able to nuke anyway. Good send, Anthony mid lane. He will uh, annoy the photos here, but m essentially he might get into hero kills. <laughs> Yuta? Nah, he's a fool. Um, and maybe we'll still send Anthony here, just like the experience. But he's gonna struggle against these pesky, pesky Pandaren. We might struggle getting here some side lanes. Let's send Anthony here, but yeah, we can always redirect. Boven ain't gonna join us against my tier 4 and level 14 and win Rin. Hopefully Kyrian's not gonna go straight by Anthony. Mm, okay, shit could work here. He's redirecting, but the cat pulls with one down's rage, I'm like, nope. Oh, Tarn was also burning on the other side. I feel like I'm cheating with the scat bolts. Let's get out of explosion. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, poor Taurus. Slightly feeling pain. Oh yeah, could be fine. Oh, that's a big point of weight. Okay. 
Kieran's not going to live forever here. We'll have you to the top, bury him bottom. Oh, winning. Well, we are in the center's position. Mitchell, how did we do you dirty? We'll try to take revenge for you, my friend. The others told me to be evil. So you have the community to blame for this. Dalkarian, beautiful. Let's keep up keep on upgrading our units. <laughs> I think it's not gonna survive this for much longer either. Four heroes sent, seven heroes slain, hopefully soon. Two heroes still alive. Oh, we didn't get the hero kill. <sighs> How can we always be so lucky in this game? <clears throat> That's incredible. I mean, this is what this, but. We'll have to be a little bit lucky sometimes. Here's them separate. Let's go see the same arrows. Upgrade here. And then save up because we will need one hero here and we will need one hero there. Probably survive middle lane. It's gonna be annoying. But he will probably think the same about Anthony. <clears throat> yeah, I also blame uh, Subi. And maybe go for the fortification. It's a bit of kill. Since we're not collecting any gold right now. Might only have one hero available, but we have time because our tier 4 units are applying some good pressure. He just did 2 so he can get survival here. <coughs> but he might need a tier 2 spell. The survival indeed. The cowboy is helping him out. Of course he is. Research looking okay. Despite our tier 4 barracks everywhere. Um, hopefully Anthony will stay out of range. Get some good damage on the barracks. He's still 4 against us. Why would he do something nasty like that? That's me. We gotta be fine top, but this game sometimes, man. Since the double area is gonna be fair no against the point house, but hopefully they will deal some damage because if it's gonna be surviving for a few more minutes, it's gonna be overpowering us like with nothing at all. The bonus damage in there. Not gonna collect too much gold. Middle lane, still gonna get decent gold, <coughs> but survival will be uncontested there. But yeah, our prediction was wrong. We still need a tip to spell. Thank you, Yuta. <laughs> I thought Yuta had seen the light, but obviously he is the true betrayer in Warcraft. I defend. Maybe we should go for the restriction soon as well. I the poison aura could work. Attention long the front lines will live. The more damage my cat puts can do. It's gonna be a scary wave, hopefully no carry though. But I doubt he has the money for that. <coughs> He's tusking us. Um, Tusk should be able to defeat Anthony, but we might have some decent damage to him. 
Unless he goes for uh, Anthony right now. Oh, and he is. Stinky, 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 Mehmet. <coughs> but his game plan of the tower near the center special unit is correct. But I don't like it. Guaranteed to spell even. Oh, yo, yo. That's not delightful at all. That's just pure evil. The double hero should be sufficient. And it's about to fall. It's not gonna make it, but that. Wygate is at least taking a little bit of a hit. Oh, I was considering a <coughs> aggressive hero summoning at the top. Oh, Gara was some too late because our cat was, could still be hit the Wygate a few times. But this is going to be an absolute pain to deal with. Oh, we can't even get a hero directly at the top. I was thinking Farin should be enough. Why do I have save Farin and win? Come on. You guys may call me stupid if I make that mistake once more. At least the burning effect from the catapults. It's causing some good damage over time. <coughs> He's still full with Code Beast. Oh, yo, yo. That's one of the most powerful late game armies in the world game. That scares me a little bit. Come on, mess me up. <coughs> well, even Farian would not make sense since he's for um, Stormwind and the Lord Run. I think there are probably plenty of warriors. That would be a good pick for the faction of Lord Run. Oh, this wave will be fighting over here. So we're gonna be without reports for a long time against this massive wave. Spell resistance and Tower Code Beast. This is going to be a disaster. Oh, monstrosity. <laughs> He's getting reports from the middle lane. No point in fighting the monstrosity there anyway. Let's kill a few more units quickly, so that we at least have end win top. Uh, look at Anthony, casually hugging Kara over there. The stupid troll. <clears throat> Let's just use this just to be safe because we need gold. The shooters are not gonna make it against Kara. And Edwin will solo the big guy. Our man level is looking quite poor now though. Should be careful before we get ourselves into nuking range here. Oh, we are now. It's still alive. Menav's not good, but we have magic runes for that. And Windoda. <laughs> that would make sense if it was not having the name Rin. You can stack right sure. The survive still good here despite the monstrosity. Lovely stuff. A double special unit in our face. At least if they want to send me a double special unit again, they will have to do it from mill barracks. So our catapults could potentially deal some good damage to the enemy barracks. Let's get the restriction up. 
Oh, he's struggling in the middle lane, but he is shielding. Oh, yeah. Oh, probably came from there. No big guy yet. But it should, should be very helpful to him. It's not going to be blocking out the fire damage from the cat build, so hopefully we will hit it once. We might be getting a double hero our way. Survival also being a real pass for him there. <coughs> double hero indeed. And no cat build hit the barracks there yet. Now we do. Now we do. Of course it can block the damage, but not the fire effect. Maybe special on top to get a double hero kill because anyone is not going to be killing any of those. Goodbye, Pack Tower. Oh, <coughs> the all defenses is hitting us. Bye bye. Did he get magic up? No, he did not have the restriction yet. That sucks for him. Off he goes then. At least he's going to be prone to uh, nukes as well. He's not going to be able to nuke yet, but he is getting close to it. Can only get and win bottom. But having the elevator here, attack all the way to there, allows him to gain a massive amount of experience. But he could be going for a caramel lane to backstab boss. Irvian and Alaria both come across, but they could also be getting pushed to the middle lane. At least I assume Alaria will be. Yeah, elevator bottom would also be a good move, but I feel like we're gonna have more fun with the elevator if we send it top. Let's see if we can preserve some of our mana. <coughs> I assume the elevator is gonna struggle here. But with reinforcements, we should be good. Nice Aerofoli. He's the best special in the game anyway, so we're fine. We might be dueling Kara in the middle lane with the elevator. I tell you. Okay. Survive probably defending left side against Tauron, because the Tauron went for the counter stack. Oh, he got survived there. Interesting. From the instinct. <laughs> the big guy could be mid lane to defend Kara. I like to be sent there. Because he was not getting attacked there at all. <coughs> There's might be skipping on the experience there. Fair better be slaying Alaria to get the battlefield glory to himself. <coughs> there we go, perfect. But I can't explosion, even though it's not gonna be too effective against the Poidos, it's still a little bit of damage. Maybe I get these barracks with a nuki rage again. Great stuff. But even nooks, he nooks. Losing experience there. Still lost in the middle barracks. So either Kara destroy the Mammoth or Mammoth going long lane. But I would assume Kara is just destroy the Mammoth there.
Are you kidding me? I do not want to deal with Kara and the Tusk together. That barracks might just survive this. That's disgusting. <clears throat> the point out might eat up the wall base. Oi, oi, oi. That's a good. We have another critical strike. Let's get the other weapon up and then we probably should yeah. save some money. Yeah, we're not gonna be killing him with the elevator. <clears throat> but the town's gonna get wrecked at the <sighs> middle lane. Beautiful. That's it. <clears throat> but it's no longer annoying him there. Yep. This was bound to happen. Hit the spell even. The survival not being annoying here. But I would laugh if he would get in Sodom's face there. He would deserve it by now. Hopefully we can get some damage in there. <clears throat> but the double member our way. Might be giving the game in the hands to the uh, Foydels. Try to get the member here, <clears throat> get the elevator middle lane. Might be our most solid option because the elevator will apply pressure to him. Then we at least have our heroes available at the bottom. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Why does he keep going for the barracks while we are hitting him with everything except the barracks? <clears throat> oh, don't tell me he's still going top because of this way. He loves to eat up my base, doesn't he? At least no cat pills here, so we might be good. Let's shoot this backline. Because if they die here, elevator will go middle lane. Take the cow there. Hopefully the next mammoth will be sent there. <coughs> now we just have the old line here. Even got the Laria. There we go. <coughs> that was the moment we were hoping for. Let's get the biggest wave we can master. Oh, uh, he still lost the barracks. That's a shame. And when some of uh, Anthony and Summer died to die again. He oh, are you kidding me? <clears throat> it's about to fall. Okay. He's this is gonna get interesting now. We can look him in return soon. Although, maybe a Doom would be more fun. Elevator dying there, are you kidding me? <clears throat> How the hell can Special die to survive? Yeah, spell resistance 
absolutely me a nightmare to deal with. Well, we need more arrows to even look. <clears throat> but how can he die? That's even without reinforcements. That's a massive shame for a special unit. <laughs> Absolute shocker. That special die here. <sighs> Yeah, it's not gonna make it. What else? My attacks through the middle lane soon. My brain will carry that. Oh, we cannot take it with the elevator. That's that's the biggest issue. Hmm. <clears throat> this is why it's it's slightly ahead. Thirty seconds for the elevator. Yeah, same Kara might be enough there, but hopefully he's gonna stun and wreck the base. It could happen. But you definitely see the early game bow from Lord Run, and the amazing late game strength from Fordell's in action in this game. Up here, say I'm not gonna do too much. <coughs> I will ignore Kara and go for the barracks. With a few stunts, it could happen. And since Kara's gonna go long lane, assuming she will survive it, he might be able to apply some pressure to the barracks there. <coughs> he definitely has the advantage when it comes to nooks and everything. And I think one. Bears more than us. But we have to play creative, do crazy stuff. Uh, he's not stunning and hitting barracks, that's a shame. <coughs> of course. By the God. Let's send him there. Because Kara will survive, but she's not gonna be too healthy. But survival, soloing the elevator is one thing, but him getting the Oculus here as well. Good game for him. I'm not gonna surprise if Carol will even beat up the elevator there somehow. Ridiculous Oculus is killing me, man. Ah, that's why Survivor Spawn, you have to adapt your wall strategy to um, where you least expect it.
Oh, he just did destroy Kara. <clears throat> but look at that hell. Boots is not gonna make it. Oh, well, maybe he will. Nah, he's not gonna make it. Would be great, insane if he would, though. Yeah, Nukes essentially won the game at Fim and Survival here. I'm not going to be able to counter that for sure. Do you have enough gold for you, Ter? I assume so. And we're not too healthy. Ah, but we might not be able to finish it. Are you kidding me? Survived somehow running away there. And went died. Beautiful. Can't get in the Sato zone base, please. Yeah, my army not strong enough here. The brute ballistics, yeah, the extra little bit of damage would be nice, but. Long run, it's not gonna help us out. A single hero here should be sufficient for him. Either way, we did play with a decently strong bones ourselves. Well, we were playing two top tier bones in the game with the spell resistance here. Go to beast there. We always would have started a little bit late game. But the nuke and the orcas here essentially killed us. And Yuta being a real. Uh, Yuta. The elevator being a real disgrace to somehow lose against survival mid uh, middle lane. Gara, oh my god, Gara's chilling over there. You cannot have that. Maybe one more lucky moment with a silly survival move. You can always hope. But yeah, my arm is even with equal research, heavily, heavily um, outqualified. And that's just the balance thing. Um, I'm not saying the game itself is poorly balanced, but I would say tier 4 Yunta placement should have a bigger presence to the battlefield than any early game bones like Spell Resistance should have. A spell Resistance started, started off quite okay, but when the mages get their magic abilities, it gets just way, way, way too powerful. Maybe we'll get a double sod here. Well, that's impossible, but <laughs> how lovely would it be? 
And yeah, just an elevated dying to survival. They did not even get a weird summoning there. It's just a massive, massive disgrace. Regardless, the game was fun. And we were also a bit unlucky that the tower and Andy for what else did send us a double special unit at the same time. Now it now it just simply deserves to get in the southern base. I hope it's not gonna happen somehow. Oh, I get a poker. I should pick that one up quickly. One second, guys.